Hello and welcome to Goa 365 Story B and the Story. Now we are in a television medium and we are in a society where communication is very very important. So today to discuss another form of communication, I have a panel or we have a panel in our studio. The that form of communication is sign language. now i will not like to go into details of this but i would like to let our panel get into these details so so without much ado i would like to introduce our panel uh, with me is josephine fernandez she is an interpreter indian sign languages and before you you catch me on that we will discuss why indian and and various later josephine ma'am welcome to our show second is prakash kamat senior journalist who is very very much involved in creating awareness on various types of disabilities prakash bab welcome to our show gaurish malgaonkar from mapsa a businessman gaurish bab welcome to our show and last but not the least prasad joshi from valpoi prasad works at the goa university Prasad Bab, welcome to our show. Now, Prakash Bab, I would like to start off with you. Why don't you introduce us to the subject first, in yeah. short, and then to our guests? Yeah, Prakash Bab. Yeah. First of all, as you know, I work for persons with disabilities. There are twenty-one official categories recognized under the Act, Persons with Disability Act. and in that this is one segment of persons with hearing and speech impairment and in normal terminology they are called deaf people hearing impaired now in goa for instance we may be having including students and other people around 3000 persons with hearing and speech impairment now we have a uh, these people also there is a culture called deaf culture they are people of flesh and blood they also want to be in every aspect of society they seek to be included and not excluded so what happens is they have a association called goa association for the deaf which looks after and which also works to integrate these people to integrate these people in the society what is the medium medium is sign language so when we say sign language here is josephina who now i will start introducing that josephina is one of the two complete professional sign language experts in goa we should have many we don't have but she is one of them she is a gold medalist at the bombay university in this uh, indian sign language okay Yeah. Then we come to uh, Gaurish Malgaonkar. He is a businessman. He has his shop. He is from Mapsa. He is president of the association of the deaf. Then we have Prasad Joshi. He is general secretary of this association. He works in Goa University. He is a LDC in examination uh, center of the Goa University. And very importantly, Prasad, with all these boys and girls, steers them. towards this inclusion empowerment of persons with disability okay prakash bab before we go any further i want you to explain to us uh, josephine is an interpreter of the indian sign language mujhe ki nahi ha at indian mujhe the american and yes. <laughs> europe yes. american sign language mura sa ah. sign language ki jata uh, deaf is a culture Okay. so it should articulate it should express that culture okay. so indian culture at kya sa uh, married women kashi dakhaitlo kukum laupi uh, mangal sutra ghalpi dadlo mun kasa dakhaitlo bisho muntalo <laughs> ha so all that <laughs> kya pa sa pratyek culture a differ thodi thodi gosti differ jata if you go to south india 
you may not have Mangal Sutra in these some states or northeast states. So we have Indian sign language where our things, our culture, our uh, languages are integrated in that. Whereas internationally we have American sign language, correct? More or less same, but so many things according to the place diversity. We are a country with diverse languages, right. diverse culture. In that, that language differs. That right. is the point. Okay. Now I would like to go to Gaurish. Gaurish, uh, tell me one thing. How do you manage in general? I want to know. I want to know because I don't know. I want to know how do you manage in normal everyday life? What is your normal life? What is your normal? How do you? You start in the morning, I mean you get up in the morning, Bhashwati. How do you manage during the day? Okay, uh, this is my sign name. I am Gorish. Uh, I am working as the president of uh, GAD, that is Goa Association of the Deaf, and I have my own uh, store and uh, entrepreneur. So, first thing that uh, is uh, required is ISL so that the communication happens within the family because because of ISL there is lot of progress that is happening and you know job in opportunities have been uh, available for example establishing own business uh, deaf empowerment education accessibility and so on so before is like you know but all all this uh, before this education is very important so awareness so looking around our own environment my own environment is very important for the progress so once i understand my environment progress is more natural gaurish i will add to it now as sir wants to know to gharatle sangle but what about when you are doing business people come and you start business. How you uh, interpret, how you talk, communicate with them? Okay, morning 6 o'clock I wake up. Uh, that's my routine. So, I have a wife and a son and uh, I get ready for going to my office, workplace. So, then I see that my son is ready to go to school. I am ready, I get ready and then so I check whatever the schedule is for the day and then I go, I reach the office and then I introduce myself and uh, you know the greetings happen, do my attend attendance. So I ask the head clerk who is there what is the schedule of the work today and that I record and then you know I follow the schedule. So making the certificates ready or the results ready, you know, checking the uh, mark sheets and everything. So whatever the schedule for the day is there, I do and finish. And then whatever the office job is there, I do it till 4 or 5, uh, I am back, uh, it is over, then I am back home. I, you know, enjoy my time with my family and friends sometimes. So before 9, my son has to go to sleep, so I yeah. So next, so next <laughs> correct. So that is the reason I try to spend more time with him, so that asking about his studies, what he has done in the school, so that give and take happens. Plus, I have to uh, spend time with my parents and my wife because any updates that has happened in the family during the day in my absence. So and after that, I go to sleep. Very, very well. it's, it's not uh, it's not very I will get to that but it's not very different from uh, the, what uh, product of you me or even Joseph you know. it's basically the same okay yeah you wanted to say something Gaurish now uh, at Goa University <laughs> office when I just joined it was very difficult communication yeah, yeah, was very I'll difficult come to that later. Yeah. I'll come to that later yeah, yeah. yeah. Gaurish uh, I wake up at uh, 7 a.m. you know and then whatever the you get up very early daily <laughs> I help my family in the daily course even cooking I help so 
then I do my uh, get ready to do my uh, my job like and I go to the shop so usually I spend more time helping my mother so after I open the shop I do a little you know ritual of uh, doing the puja at the shop and I wait for the customers there are customers who come you know uh, buy stuff and so on so there are different food items at my store so I I connect with them I see what they do I see how they behave you know that communication is there through uh, you know visual contacts my uncle is there who helps me so he comes and checks on me all the time so because being alone it becomes very difficult sometimes so he comes and checks on me so when he is not there I only handle the shop so the process of you know buying selling taking the cash there are CCTV cameras also fitted so then that also I have to check on so if there is any uh, kind of uh, mishaps happening on the shop or some kind of inc incidents I have to contact the required uh, person to get it done or even inform the family so even ordering certain things so that also I have to contact so if I cannot then it is like you know uh, usually it's a text method that I use so uh, sometimes my uncle helps me because uh, when I call do a video call they cannot understand the signs so it is usually the verbal method which uh, is done through my uncle so after my shop uh, I work on the shop after that I go home you know and maybe at uh, night or uh, before night 11 o'clock or so uh, everything is over like you know my day time uh, schedule is over then I see that I see what is required in the family any kind of job that I need to help them so I see and then because my parents are old so I need to see their look after them as well so I have uh, siblings but we all do the work together share of sharing of responsibilities fair enough no, this is very very interesting because one thing I want to, to ask both uh, Prasad as well as uh, Dorish do you all read lips we see in, in the movies and all lip reading and do you all read lips Uh, yes, uh, I I am born. I was born there, but I did my schooling in a regular school where I was, you know, given oral oralism uh, teaching method. So at that time, speech therapy was, uh, you know, a kind of you know the for forcibly making uh, us to speak. So. You know, this kind of method where you know the speech therapist and you know auditory discrimination is done so that kind of uh, training I was given but then it was not uh, very ex uh, exp uh, beneficial for me but slowly slowly certain words I caught up like you know go come through everyday practice and routine words so that I would be I would lip read so then I started with sign language when uh, when I went to Lokvishwa school when at the age of 17 years where I was exposed to sign language where they told me no you shouldn't you use voice because you are a deaf and you need to you know use signs so that was the time I was communicating through signs but before that when I was in hearing uh, environment I would learn to I would lip read a few people through the expressions and lip movements because uh, almost 17 years I was with them in that environment so there was some uh, routine words so I got a benefit of you know lip reading as well as science because so now you can lip read 50 percent yes. 50% not not very hi yes. common words like hi thank you okay. looking at the lips and the facial expressions I can pick up okay. now like if suppose even if you say said like you know looking at the expressions I can understand so facial expressions are uh, picked up more generally and easily easily for me what about Gaurish lip reading
uh, I was born uh, deaf and then my parents were unaware of that. So then I uh, okay he said he was born normal and then he was uh, he got some he had a fall well and done. so you know when the small children are being given oil massage so I was done that uh, do, uh, during that I had a fall and I I was sick so you know I was taken to Mumbai to ch for a checkup thorough checkup so and there I was identified like you know as a deaf so you know at that time technologically Mumbai was more advanced so I was taken there so when I was brought back to Goa you know the growing up stage was just normal so I was put in a school St. Xavier's Academy Old Goa and at that time I was very scared because they had a residential school so I was scared to stay because I wanted to be with my family and then they agreed and then I was put to another school which was Sanjay school which was a school where you know I could go attend school and come back home so that was th that school was uh, very convenient for me so in that school we had sc uh, students or uh, having de deafness plus there were intellectual disabled students so different type of uh, students having different disabilities was learning there so earlier I was also like you know like just like the normal childhood have attitude and tantrums going to school I also had that same thing but then when I saw the other deaf children and students along with me I was more comfortable and confident you know we were helping each other we were like playing together and studying together and slowly slowly but at that time you know I could not understand what the teachers were thought it was like um, uh, oralism plus ASL that was used so not Indian sign language at all now in Maharashtra at that time you know I heard that you know there is uh, sign language which was being taught but I was unaware of that happening in Goa at that time but yes signs gestures that were used during communication with my deaf students and teachers and through that we would share our stories and knowledge after I finished my schooling that is our, our 10th standard I was very happy you know all the teachers uh, appreciated and you know said very good so when when I went home like you know now what to do I wanted to you know, do uh, 11 12 but that time there was no college you know, I tried to figure out then So then at that time in Altino, I went for a mechanical course, ITI, it was a six month course, government approved, so I learned that and now I wanted like to be you know uh, more inclined in car mechanical course. So it was a course of four months that also I did and then I was thinking like what to do in my life. So I was thinking and my family also like you know they had you know said like let's go into business we can have a small startup. So at this, uh, simultaneously I started looking out for jobs elsewhere but communication was difficult and I most of the interviews that I attended I failed in that. because. Uh, the in the inter interview panel we did not have any interpreter yeah, yeah. so I it was very difficult for me to communicate my thoughts at that time and that's what that was the main reason I wasn't selected for the jobs because all my certificates my uh, you know marks and all everything was good but the communication didn't happen the way I thought so in Goa we did not have that facility at that time so you know it's very a uh, sad situation when we go for job interviews and there is no interpreter so at that time like you know 
I was fed up and that time my family supported me to have a own startup you know, so they had uh, you know helped me uh, in getting a shop it was a gift for me from my family so then uh, what kind of store you know at that time you know there were so many uh, kind of stores so what will benefit me what uh, like you know profitable business so I applied for a loan at EDC for uh, starting up the business because there were certain schemes you know concession for persons with disability so I got it done and I got a concession of 5% for the loan so at that time you know uh, so they asked me like you know what will be your business and that time I I said you know the different uh, panel were they actually asking me because uh, they don't easily give you loan they ask you certain uh, questions so through my questions you know uh, expressions you know certain uh, text writing method you know that was the time uh, you know they would just look at me and understand through s small uh, gestures and all so through my expressions, most of the time you know it was um, small things what I would express would be understood so and then after all this uh, process I started my uh, shop business in 2016 and I am still into that till now uh, there are customers who come to me who are hearing so being a uh, communication problem because sign language is not known by the customers I do you know texting and writing method I use so that whatever the message is conveyed so sometimes I use pictures uh, I use uh, certain photographs and pictures on my mobile to you know give them an idea and the communication is most of the time visual so that's how I manage Thanks. Yeah. Now, because of <coughs> COVID, also I had a little, little bit problem. Everybody yeah. has so problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So now let's see how it happens. You know. Yeah. Uh, uh, Prasad, we had, uh, we had uh, interrupted you and got back when you wanted to get back to the university. When you first initially, when you started the university, how did you, like, you know, what was the <laughs> experience, so as to say? Because sign language and all people are there in the university. How do you, how do you communicate? <laughs> uh, to tell you frankly, it was very difficult. Uh, for my interview time, at that time when I went, just before that, I just wanted to uh, want to inform you, like. <laughs> At that time, like you know, the RPWD Act was not uh, enforcement. That is rights of persons with disability. It was called as the PWD Act. Act. So, before that, it was Persons with Disability Act, 1995. Rights concept had not evolved. So, at that time, one person. A reservation was done so it was a lot of uh, you know struggle for us but how do you manage to manage to you know uh, talking to people and doing your work now I had a lot of uh, communication barriers now because I'll intervene because there were a lot of requirements for the post and I was ready with that you know when I went when I applied you know almost uh, before that almost 45 interviews I had attended before applying for Goa University I failed so because in that category you know what they had it was the for the handicapped person what they used the disabled person but that time only the people who had other or disability, physical disability, physical disability yes. they were selected. Yes. So now according to the RPWD Act, you know, 
2000 which uh, was got implemented in 2016 the state government of goa almost uh, it got in implemented in uh, 2017 Ah, it was originally in 2016, but it got implemented in 2017. We have to notify. Yeah. <coughs> November 2017. Okay. Yeah. So I hoped for a change actually at that time because of the RPWD Act, and my family also like you know was waiting. So luckily I came across this post yeah. of LDC. Just, and yeah. which was reserved for hearing hard of hearing hearing for hearing handicap okay so that okay. was the category I that. <laughs> kept yeah the yes of, yeah. i will tell you <coughs> from this you will understand two three points i will make one very important what you first said whether you know lip reading mm. the point is there are categories mm. categories of born by birth mm. yeah. acquired afterwards by different disease yeah. whatever yeah. there are some so biggest thing people have to understand is early identification in child very crucial mm. if early identification if slight talking capacity is there therapy. speech therapy helps in goa sadly we don't have in Kokni speech therapist. What speech th therapist we have are Kandar and all these languages. So this is the biggest problem again. One. Second thing is as by uh, in different categories, their issue is also accessibility, empowerment. Accessibility means sign language. They are talking about RPWD Act. RPWD Act provides that sign language should be part of every establishment. There should be a cell in every department where sign language also should be part of that. Unless that is done, then interview panels, it is mandatory one sign language expert must be there. What they do is, because they don't want such people, they fail them, as he said earlier. Now because of act, this is come. And another very important point is that when uh, this RPWD act came, rights were asserted. So what has happened is in the 4% reservation which is there for persons with disabilities in B category reservation is for partial and fully speech okay. and hearing impaired with 1% for them only. Okay. Okay. Pranav, I'm sorry. I am like completely <laughs> run out of <laughs> trust. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, very, very interesting. But as I said right in the oh. beginning before I close oh. this, I would oh. like yeah. to say yeah, so the, this is like exactly what uh, I was trying to say when we were there, is communication is the key and this is a form of communication which has to, I think, increase more and more people have to start getting used so that uh, you talk about inclusiveness, this communication comes and then becomes part of part of life and then part of in general society at all. Yeah, uh, Prasad uh, uh, Gaurish, uh, sorry, but we are out of time. Uh, I promise to get you all back. We can talk more about uh, your individual stories. Okay. All this. Prakash Bab, uh, thank you very much. Josephine, thanks. Thanks a lot. You've done a tremendous job. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. And um, like this is this is one 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 reality which most of us do not want to face. This happens, and we need to put in the efforts to ensure that the various powers that be ensure that all this is sorted out. We don't need rules. It's basically, it's a mindset change. We need to change our mindset. We need to get organized. We need to create awareness and create this feeling of inclusiveness, which sadly till today is missing in our society. Thank you. Thank you, panel. Thank you. And keep watching Goa 365.